If you all haven't been to Artomatic, you absolutely have to. And on the 29th, the artists are all here with like wine tasting throughout this building and to talk to them and drink and see beautiful art. So come back on the 29th. Um, really excited to have Peter Corbett here as our next speaker to talk about the future of the social capital. Um, I know, for, if you're not familiar, Ignite often has a bit of a tech history. So there's a lot of tech people here, people like Matt talking. Uh, but if you know tech in DC, then you know Peter, because Peter has done so much. He's the CEO of iStrategy Labs, which is, uh, they bring to life ideas in the digital and physical universe. Um, he also sort of founded the Twin Tech, which is an event like this, but it has like 1,500 people um, to network amongst different, the old and the new tech communities. And he's just, he's done a real lot for our community. Um, so I'm really excited to hear what the future of that is. So, Peter Corbett. Thank you so much. I have to say, I uh, actually still hung over from the Cats game last night, so I might not be as on fire as I normally am, but if you want to hate on me or love on me on Twitter, over 3000, we'll be talking about the future of the social capital. I know a lot of people are wondering what the hell the social capital is, and as uh, I get to that, I'll tell you what the past was. First, there were all these really distributed nodes, right? A lot of you have built those nodes yourselves. 10, 20, 30 person groups that are meeting over design or technology or, or the arts or what have you. And this is going back probably the past decade or so, but what's happened in the last five years, these nodes have really grown. Our community, whether it's the technology culture or the arts culture, have really started to come together. We've created bridges across them. There's sort of some disconnect in some areas. That's these little pink stars down the bottom. So what we're thinking about is what happens in the future, and that's what this, this presentation is about. How can we start to bring together these communities in a more cohesive manner? And it's really interesting that uh, George was speaking before me, because it's really a lot about taking the creative community and making sure it infuses more deeply with the technology community. So that future, this social capital, is about social entrepreneurship, social technology, and social change. How many people in the room are social entrepreneurs? How many people in the room are social technologists? How many people are interested in social change? Everyone's hands should be up. No, no one really cares. That's fine. So the idea is that we're going to lead the world, right? DC doesn't have a mission. It seems like we're just kind of out there with a capital, with a government, and this thing. So we need to think about leading the world in something. If we can lead the world in those three areas, we're going to be the social capital that inspires the world. We've got all the components that we need. We've got talent. We've got these associations that have connections to every professional in the entire country, if not the world. The global NGOs, these federal entities are so powerful. We have an entrepreneurial culture. So here's my highly subjective rating system of these elements right now. So our talent here is a seven, needs a little more development. The investment picture is kind of lacking. Community is great. We can always build it more. We'll connect people together. The universities kind of suck and haven't been supporting us very much. Local tech and government's there. I'm slow, apparently. So what we have to do is connect these investors to our communities. We need to get people to learn how to do angel investment, which happens to be the, the most anemic part of this puzzle here. We've got Baltimore Angels, which is great. Launchbox Digital and uh, Empire Ventures. We need to push the educational institutions to become a part of the things that we do. And we need to have a more formal approach. So we need to have institutionalized support from these entities, GW, Georgetown, and American University, and UDC, and America. We've got all of these institutions here if they're not supporting us. You've got this thing on the tech side, Ignite, Twin Tech, Camp, Refresh, Launchbox, Tech Cocktail, Social Matchbox, DC Media Makers, Apps for Democracy, which is one of the things that I do as well. But on the creative side, if the slide would progress, we've got AI, GAX in DC, ADC, MW, Artomatic, Creatives, DC, uh, Petra Chuka, and I can never pronounce that right, I don't know if that's right, DC Design Dave. How do we bring these things together? What would that look like? How would we make sure that we've got an automatic plus a twin tech plus a whatever? So from now on, I'm going to be focusing on tech arts, right? I want to bring this technology community people together with the arts community people. We tried to do that this year at Automatic. It was just too, too much too fast. We'll make something happen. Angel Camp, bringing investors together. We need Bootstrap DC. Jared was a great part of that in Baltimore. Apps for Democracy will continue. And right now, actually, this Sunday is Social Citizen Sunday. So if you have technology skills, you want to talk to people in your neighborhoods about what they really need and how the city can support them, you should do that. And over the course of June, we're going to do the technology uh, competition. Social Innovation Academy is coming to DC hopefully this September. It's something brand new. We're going to put everything together in one place for a week. We'll have Bar Camp, Startup Camp, Angel Camp, Solutions Camp, Government Chief, Whatever Camp, the other two, Social Media Camp, and all that. What else do we need to do? Someone say something, anything. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. We'll do that. More art content. More art content. Huh? Outreach to elementary schools. Reduce something. Tech outreach to teenagers. Well, what will you do? So I talk a lot about the things that you know people are doing, some of the things I'll be doing, but I want you guys to think about what will you do? What will you do when you 
you walk out of this room, you'll say, you know what? I've been meaning to bring these specific people together and do this thing. Have you done it yet? But when you're doing it, make sure you're doing stuff that matters. Because it's really important right now. There's so many problems. This earth is hurting. The world needs your talent. So figure out something that's really important for you to do. Do stuff that matters. And I am ahead of my slides. How do you do that? How do you find time? I like to say, sleep less, talk less, help more, do more, do it now. Um, really now, like literally when you leave this room tonight, go home and write that blog post and then write that proposal and find that person, reach out through email. And if you do that, you're going to be the social capital that inspires the world. We'll take it from a social entrepreneurship perspective, social technology and social change perspective. People say, DC is the shit. I'm coming to you. And that is my presentation.